so man. Dude, there's so much going on in terms of like new construction. I got a cookie because it's been a long day. I think I deserve it. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. All right, fair. <laughs> Dude, so there's so much going on here in Central Florida, in Orlando in general. I think that today we talk about like the top four things that I'm most excited about in regards to new development coming to Orlando. What's the rating on the cookie? Oh, um, that's a solid six, you know? It's like moist and, you know, got a little hard exterior. That's a good time. All right, so let's get into it. So there's four things coming to Orlando that I'm probably most excited about, but really if I had to take the time to add up the billions of dollars of development, both downtown, in the theme parks, in the neighborhoods, it would take me a half hour. These are my four top favorite things coming to Orlando. So number one is Epic Universe. They're actually doubling the size of the Universal Studios. They're gonna do a new downtown area. There's a whole new gate. And I think anytime that a new gate opens up in the theme park area, that has to be super exciting because for me, I'm a theme park junkie. But you look at what's going on between Universal and Disney, they're constantly going tit for tat with new rides, new attractions, new shows, and as kind of COVID hopefully gets behind us, I think that stuff's gonna be very exciting. One thing about Epic Universe I think is really cool is there's gonna be 14,000 new jobs that are gonna be brought on because of it. And really, it's not too much far behind on where it was supposed to be. It got slowed down because of COVID. It was actually supposed to open up in 2023. Now it's pushed to 2024, but that's really right around the corner if you think about everything coming to the area. Number two thing I'm most excited about is really more residential and park space in the city of Orlando. It's called the Packing District. It's 202 acres of land that they're gonna be redeveloping just west of College Park, of which like 92 acres of that is old industrial that just looks like crap, to be honest with you, that they're gonna be tearing down and redeveloping. They're bringing in Toll Brothers to do some townhomes in there that's gonna be really nice. So the first like really new townhome development that we're gonna see downtown in years. There's a plenty of like condos and apartments we're seeing hundreds and hundreds of those come in but to have actually townhomes that you can own downtown in an amazing area I'm really excited about it all right so number three thing I'm probably most excited about coming to Central Florida is Sunbridge it's gonna be 24,000 acres that kind of spans from Orange County down to Osceola County. And it's gonna be, I guess the Mormon Church owns a bunch of the land and they're gonna be partnering with Tavistock who kind of runs Lake Nona. The area that Sunbridge is gonna be located in is just two miles east of Lake Nona itself. And so for everybody that wants to be part of Lake Nona but maybe is getting priced out, this is gonna be an amazing opportunity. So of the 24,000 acres that they have there, 13,000 are gonna be set aside for like wetlands and conservation. So they're really gonna be like this whole live work play but really like more for people that love the outdoor space and that's one thing I get a lot of you guys reaching out like I'm in from Montana and I want to move to Orlando where can I be outside and enjoy you know biking and hiking and all that kind of thing right now there's not an, a lot of amazing places for that maybe Claremont right maybe Winter Garden some different areas but this is really going to be some dedicated space if you're into that lifestyle it's going to be amazing the first neighborhood that they've already kicked off is a 55 and older Del Webb community now they're getting ready to dig out like something like 250 acre lake and they're gonna make a man-made lake with houses around it just a really cool unique thing that's on a massive massive scale We're downtown Winter Garden. That's Plant Street behind us. We tried Crooked Can, but it's packed over there at like five o'clock. Had to go find a space that was a little bit more, uh, more chill, but let's get into number four. So the number four thing I think I'm most excited about coming to Central Florida is Island Village down in Celebration. Now, I know it's just a little section of a neighborhood and all that kind of thing, but the amount of hype that's been behind this, the development process, the purchasing the land from Disney, everything else going on in Island Village is a really amazing spot. There's gonna be 1,300 houses, 
or residences back there. Some of them apartments, townhomes, condos, uh, and then obviously single family homes all the way up to estate size houses. So a little mix of everything. And honestly, at first I thought it was way too far away from like the main section of celebration. But as they're getting it developed out, as they kind of start to release lots and build houses, I kind of get the vibe around like the high school down there. I think it's a really exciting thing if you thought about moving celebration, but you want something new. Everybody wants to live in an area that is just primed for growth, right? Like nobody likes stagnant, at least I don't. And so you look at other cities across the country, Austin's blowing up, different cities around the country that are just doing extremely well. I think Orlando is really poised for that. I think it's cool because we've got so many theme park things going on, but there's also so much outside of that that is just blowing up in terms of development. We have everybody from the state, the county, the city levels. You've got developers like Unicorp, Tavistock, Dr. Phillips Charities. There's all these people putting a ton of effort into making our city something really unique and special and so for me as a resident here I'm super excited to share with you guys as we go along the way so listen make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're putting on new videos about what's going on here in Central Florida every single week then if you're looking to buy or sell a house I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice so make sure you shoot me an email at ken at posetgroup.com we'll see you guys on the next video cheers no whoosh too far away <laughs>